Peace, everybody. It's the Grand Scheme of Crypto back at you once again with another video. This time, I'm going to be talking about the Ethereum merge and everything you need to know regarding it. So first and foremost, nothing said here is financial advice. It is for entertainment purposes only. Now, the Ethereum merge is coming and many people on Twitter feel that it could be one of the biggest things to happen in crypto. There's lots of info around it and it will certainly become a big change as Ethereum is set to move from proof of work to proof of stake. Now, the Ethereum merge and yeah, the Ethereum merge explain Twitter user 25dev released a Twitter thread simply explaining the Ethereum merge with diagrams and drawings of beavers making it explain like you're five. The full thread can be found here. Put simply, the merge will see the Ethereum ecosystem move from POW proof of work to POS proof of stake. And these are or proof, proof of work is a mechanism currently being used on Ethereum that allows the decentralized network to agree on things like account balances and the order of transactions. And just to put it simply, Proof of work and proof of stake are pretty much pretty much explain how the blockchain works. And I believe Bitcoin is a proof of work blockchain with miners. And moving to proof of stake would move from miners to stakers. And it will get it'll get more into that with a better explanation than I can right here. So POW is a mechanism currently being used in Ethereum that allows the, the decentralized network to agree on things like account balances and the order of transactions. So it is the underlying algorithm that sets the difficulty and the rules for the work miners do. Mining is the work itself. It's the act of adding valid blocks to the chain. This mechanism uses a lot of energy, making Ethereum bad for the environment. This is where people come and say NFTs are bad for the environment. This is where that comes from. So which has historically led to a lot of complaints from envir envir environmentalists. So proof of stake, on the other hand, is the consensus mechanism that Ethereum will use after the merge. Proof of stake is a type of consensus mechanism used by blockchains to achieve distributed consensus. In proof of stake, validators explicitly stake capital in the form of Ether into a smart contract on Ethereum. The new mechanism will be tested before it is completely deployed. This final test was confirmed by Ethereum developers at the end of July. They said that it will be held between August 6th and 12th. Now that it, now that that time period is over, they are all but ready to launch this merge. Watcher.guru has reported that the merge is estimated to be completed between September 15th and 16th. The merge is only the beginning of their multi-year plan that will lead to the eventual announcement of ETH 2.0. Explained in Beaver terms. So this is a little more simplified explanation. In the thread, beavers were used to illustrate the differences between proof of work and proof of stake. The beavers using POW were exhausted as all of them had to put energy into finding out how to get across the river with their logs. With only one being rewarded once, the problem was figured out. On the other hand, the beavers illustrated and the POS example were lying down, lazy with not all of them wasting their energy, only the ones who put their log down. The environmental changes of the Ethereum merge. Now with Ethereum moving to POS, it will be a lot better for the environment. Currently on the proof of stake mechanism, Ethereum's total energy consumption is around 112 TWH per year. This number is similar to an entire country like the Netherlands with a population of over 17 million people. That's a lot of energy and I can see why people are kind of mad about um, how NFTs are bad for the environment. But don't say things like NFTs are bad for the environment. Just say that Ethereum NFTs and proof of state proof of work is bad for the environment so you have to really be specific when speaking about these things but when but when people just hear that nfts are bad for the environment they make a lot of assumptions so don't so always take that with a grain of salt ethereum nfts at their current state use a lot of energy consumption right just to for them to be minted and that's what makes them bad for the environment wax nfts are very carbon neutral and carbon friendly so and they don't use nearly the amount of energy that um, ethereum nfts use so on, on that note wax nfts are actually carbon neutral i think they're actually carbon friendly so they're not even they're not bad at all they don't use you know nearly that much energy at all so and that's something i'll do another video on but getting back to this article here so how is the community feeling Overall, everyone is excited by the concept of the merge and saving energy too. Some are excited to over 
over a potentially massive increase in the price of Ethereum also, but this uh, is of course not guaranteed. Lark Davis, an investor with 1 million Twitter followers, said the Ethereum merge is bigger and is a bigger and more important event than the Bitcoin halving. And so I'll leave you guys with that. Like I said, don't let, you know, people scare you out of life changing opportunities because of negativity. You know, that's just negativity saying that NFTs are bad for the environment. You know, and like I said, if if someone says that and can't elaborate on that statement as far as answering any questions you might have, as far as NFTs and telling you what NFTs actually are, the difference, what makes them bad for the environment, how exactly are they bad for the environment? You know, those are things you should take take into consideration because they probably don't know what they're actually what they're really talking about and just regurgitating or repeating some information that they heard because of whatever feelings they might hold due to crypto right a lot of people lost money in crypto let's just be honest many people lost money with meme coin shiba doge many things right and so they might they're they feel some kind of way about crypto because they lost money in it you know and like and you know and and as an investor and as these people who making who make these investment decisions they should know before they even invest that there's a chance that you're not going to win and so with that being said um that's it for this this video guys make sure you guys you know like i said take everything take everything with a grain of salt and if you're unsure ask professionals ask people who've been in this for a long time which is or which are us right i've been doing this for a while my team has been doing this for a while and they've come up under me right and so if you guys want the best if you guys want to know truly about the grand scheme of crypto nfts and DeFi, this is where you should be you should be checking out my channel you should be supporting you should be here watching these videos and you should be on this patreon getting this five buck membership before i raise the prices because it's honestly a steal for you to get inside my chat groups where you guys get these personalized newsletters with all of this alpha information that can potentially change your lives if, if you if you get involved with it so that's it for this video guys it's the grand scheme of crypto I'm not going to keep you guys too long like the video and subscribe i'm out peace